What's going on YouTube? My name is Terry. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today I'll be doing a comparison video on the New Balance Casablanca 327 in the XC72. In this video, I'll be talking about the shoes briefly and then break down the comparison into four parts, which are the comfort, price, demand, and aesthetics. If you would like to see the full review of these shoes, I've already found them in the past, which I will link them down below in the description box. All right, now, without further ado, let's go. The 327 was the first silhouette from the New Balance and Casablanca collab. It is a pair of 70s tennis-inspired runners. This pair is from the second release that in the subtle cream and green colorway. The XC72 debuted as the two companies collab again. This design is more streamlined as they were inspired by the luxury sports car Lancia Stratos HF0. The colorway that we have here is the popular green and green colorway, which came from the same color of the initial release of the 327. Now for the side-by-side -side comparison. Let's take a look at the 327 first. From the front, the outsole of the 327 goes slightly over the tip of the shoe. The upper basically makes up from suede and perforated leather with only the outer side featuring the oversized N logo. For the midsole, the 327 have two layers, one that goes from the front to the back, and the extra layer starts from the mid to back. On the heel tab, the 327 has the MB logo and the model number stitched onto the back, with the outsole extended all the way up. The insole of the shoe has a simple New Balance icon in orange. Going over to the shoe tongue, it's made of foam and the New Balance Casablanca branding is stitched onto the label. It uses a pair of white shoelaces with golden tips on the end. On the front, you can immediately see the difference. The toe box of the XC72 is split into three parts with the orange suede separating both sides. It has an outsole that wraps around the whole of the toe box. The upper has small suede leather comparing to the 327 and features the N logo on both sides. The XC72 has only one big chunk of midsole that starts from the middle to the back, extending over the back of the shoe. Going to the back of the shoe, it has the dual layered heel tab with only the MB logo stitching. They also have a rubber heel stabilizer beneath it. On the shoe tongue, it uses the open stitch design where you can see the foam material. The branding is stitched directly onto the tongue. For the laces, they're using the same shoe laces as the 327. On the outsole, it has a split design with two different outsole patterns with an orange stripe dissecting down the middle. The materials that are used for these shoes are pretty much identical, except the XC72 has a big midsole and a heel stabilizer, which the 327 doesn't have. So I guess it will give a little bit more stability to the shoe. Comfort-wise, they feel pretty much the same. In Australia, the retail price on the 327 is 220 Australian dollars, whereas the XC72 is 250. In US, they're both priced at 150 USD. After the huge success of the first release of the 327, the second release was still in high demand. They were pretty much sold out instantly as they hit the shelves, whereas the XC72 did not see the same success. As various sizes can still be found on the shelf, I personally prefer the 327 look, mainly due to its subtle colorway as I found this to fit its theme better which is a retro tennis luxury sneakers. It still keeps the 70s vibe to it. The XC72 definitely has a more daring design. This retro futuristic design is one of the best shoe design that is in the market right now. But it is not something that you will wear daily. When the 327 came out, it created a lot of noise in the sneaker community due to its unique classy look. I think the XC72 adopted the predecessor really well. I believe it is due to the big success of the 327, they were able to create even more ambitious style shoes like the XC72. However, this is not the first time that we see something like that from New Balance. So it was lacking a bit of that wow factor when we witnessed the release of the XC72. And that will be all for today. Which model do you like better? The XC72 or the 327? 
let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss my new updates. I make videos on sneakers and men's styles. And finally, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.